on other fields, on other days. That's the primary charge for the cadets of Army. But on this field, the seeds planted by the likes of Davis, Blanchard, and Dawkins certainly have produced victory. Welcome to Mikey Stadium at West Point, home of the Black Knights of the Hudson. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a team coming off a crucial bye week, the Air Force Falcons taking on the winners of... And the Black Knights will kick it away to start us off. From inside the 10-yard line, he'll bring it back. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. The Falcons' offense will get the first possession of the game. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys, and it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors, and you've got to limit the penalties, because those will kill you, Bob. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it but it's just football. Really nice job to squirt his way up to the 31-yard line. Big third down coming from their own 31. Defense tries to get off the field. Off the play fake. Quickly out to the tight end. The Falcons are stopped, but not before getting it past the sticks. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. To the air. It's Busha. Fires to the wideout. He makes a catch. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep him from getting the first down. On the option. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. Here comes the option. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but now facing third down. A little screen to the running back. And they stop him just short of the stick. It will bring up a decision on fourth down. Well, on third down, they go to the running back screen. They're able to get a couple of yards, but not enough for the first. What do they do? And the Falcons will send out the punt unit. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. So the Army Black Knights offense will go to work for the first time today. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. This offense already in the black zone, a little bit backed up. How do they want to respond? They come out to throw the football, be aggressive, and this defense was ready, and they got pressure on the quarterback and got a sack on the very first snap. A first down sack can be a drive killer. Now it's second and 13. The option look. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long back up inside their 20. To throw, it's Daly. Using his legs to buy some time. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. Man, you can't draw it up any better than that. First possession, force a third down. You want to shut the home crowd up, sack the quarterback, create some momentum. Now you're getting the football back to your offense, probably with great field position. The Black Knights will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. He'll call for the fair catch here. 
Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. Just keeps picking up the tough yards and gets it down to a 26. After the good pickup on first down, let's see if they keep it on the ground. Just slithered through the tackle when he's got room to run. How about the patience from this sophomore to hunt that green grass? The Falcons with the first and 10. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. They'll run the option. Quick toss. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and it has been a defensive battle, and the stats tell the tale so far. rhythm here in the second. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Scanning the field, it's Busha. Moves away as he feels pressure. And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. And the first points of the day come on that field goal. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Oklahoma is down right now, and that's unusual for this program. Those fans in Norman expect excellence. Let's see if they can provide the spark this team needs. They're trailing by just four to the astronauts. Your boy KC has you covered here in studio, guys, in case anything changes in this one. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. They'll go right back to it. Got it across the 20 and out to the 23. A pickup of four. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. They'll run the option. He'll make a play on third down. He's got enough for the first as they mark it at the 32. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And the quarterback bought some time, but not enough. Down he goes with the sack. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they've built a lead. These guys are bringing serious heat. They are like sharks swarming and just getting after the passer. He'll ride his man on the option. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. They're bringing heat. Looking to scramble. Going to try to get it himself. And he avoids the tackle with the slide. And the Black Knights send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So, let's see. It's a fumble. The defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. Oh, and it's a hit like that that will absolutely light up the sideline, light up the stadium, change the momentum, and help you win a football game because that hit is what caused that fumble. The offense set for a first down play.
goes to the option. And they'll stop him just short of the first down, just inches away from moving the steps. Brings up second down. Running back goes in motion. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. The Black Knights trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Army! Up and over, Yama will be there into the end zone. And you don't want to leave your feet very often in football, but this is one of those areas where you do. In the end zone, near the goal line, you smell it. A lot of bodies in front of you. Just get up, get over top of them, and get that touchdown. And the extra point makes it 7-3. to three. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And he got into the house from the sixth to finish it. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. Here he goes breaking the pocket. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. This offense is going to have to come up with a plan to block this guy. He is an absolute monster, and he showed you all his tools on that sack. So just how aggressive can they afford to be as they snap it on second and long from the 13? To the air, it's Boucher. Got his man out of the backfield. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. You make up the game plan, and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. He's going to run it. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And he's finally down, sliding in safely after the huge pickup. And you're seeing here the difficulties defenses have trying to contain this guy. If you leave a lane opener, you don't sack him right away. You allow him to get outside the pocket. He is going to take off, and he is very difficult to tackle in the open field. He's got running back-like ability out in space. Chopping up this defense, and they've got it all the way down to the 23. Yeah, and the quarterback knew exactly where he wanted to go with the football. Had time, spins the ball deep. Nice job by this offense, understanding what the defense has given him and creating an explosive play. And he'll step across the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. And the Falcons looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. It's incomplete, and he's lucky to get that one back. Almost intercepted. Went up top on second down. That leaves him needing a yard here on third down. Got his man quickly. And they'll get him down inside the five of this offense powering toward a score. And a chance to really carry momentum with them into the locker room if they can take the lead here. First and goal. He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They'll run it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. This whole red zone offense thing has been a little shakes already. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Falcons! And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground, take the lead going into the half, take all the momentum. Nice execution on the drive by that offense. And the extra point gives them a three-point lead at 10-7. to seven. So they got the touchdown now, going to put it in the hands of their defense to finish off this half. On the move from inside is five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Army has it back in the offense, ready to go. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. 
But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quickly you can go to. Got it. Behind the line, it's Robinson. The offense will quickly use the timeout. Two running backs alongside the quarterback. Timeout. Looking to throw on second down. Going to try to pop one on the screen. He's out of bounds, but not before first picking down. up enough for the first down. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Dropping back, it's Daly. Throws to the wideout. Wide open downfield. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Black Knights! Man, I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they're up 14 to 10. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they close the deal from 43 yards out with a touchdown pass. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Under a minute to play here in the first half, and the offense will take a knee, and that is how we'll wrap up the first half. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this... ...to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. He'll pull it on the read. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. On the option. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. On the option. And the defense knew exactly where that first down line was, and they stopped him short. And the Black Knights line up to punt it away. He gets a block. He'll put a stop to that return as he gets it up to the 41-yard line. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. Now on the option. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. On the option. He'll keep it himself. He can't corral the pitch. The ball's on the ground. They recover their own fumble. Somehow, who knows how they got that thing back. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. He ended up losing yardage on the play, and that'll bring up fourth down. The Falcons will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. And now this offense will take the field again. Here comes the option. He'll pitch it. Good pick up on the ground, and they'll mark him down at the 39. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. The give to the big fullback. And how about the work up front by that big defensive line? Trying to pick up a first down. The option look. 
That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. A fair catch called for and made. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Looking downfield, it's Busha. They're setting up the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. At the 40, there he goes. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. They'll run the option. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. A little pre-snap eye candy for the defense. And he is stopped immediately by the big defensive lineman. They'll snap it from the 48 on third and short. They'll run the option. Discards a man. Oh, there's a loose football on the bad pitch. The more hats you have near the football, the more likely you are to cause a fumble. So many guys with their hands wrapping around guys, the ball's bound to pop out occasionally, and you've got to be in the right place at the right time. Nice pick up there. Gets him the first down and sets him up at the 45-yard line. To the ground. He's got it again. Defense coming through and knocking him down for a loss, and that'll be the end of the third period. Guys, it is Army who carries the lead. You can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Running the option. It's Daly. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Trying to get to it. Trying to make magic with his feet. And the quarterback's in the pocket, and he decides to take off and scramble and just couldn't get to the first down mark. You could tell he wanted to pass the football. Maybe it wasn't there. Maybe he scrambled a little bit too soon, but usually when you take off, you better know you're going to get close to that first down mark and get it. Here comes the Air Force offense back onto the field. After that last drive, he came back to the sideline, and the coach probably said, you dropped it and you didn't pick it up? Come on, get on the ball, David. No, that's not what he said. He said, you're doing a great job. Just keep your head up. Oh, yeah, he got blasted. you got to hold on to the football, Palmer. Turnovers to side games, those are big plays. It's tough on him, too, because he knows he let his offense down on that last drive. So you know that guy's eager and anxious to come out here and make a play. He'll ride his man on the option. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Pin just inside their own 20. They need to convert on third and short. Looking for a man. It's Busha. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. You got to give the defense tons of credit because we know how much speed this quarterback has. That time you saw the pursuit. They were able to bring him down for a big loss on the sack. And the Falcons will line up to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. He gets it away from his own end zone. Now a fair catch is called for and made just shy of midfield. The cadets have it back as Army goes back on offense. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you, the best way to get back into one is to run the football. Establish yourselves up front at the line of scrimmage and help keep these third downs manageable. Yeah, and the best news is your defense at least forced a ton of their own. So now you can go answer with that good stop while this game is still close. Let's just go keep putting more points on the board, and let's see less of the punt. He's looking to throw. Pulls it in, it's short. 
And it is well blocked as they pick up enough for a first down. The Black Knights come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Not a whole lot of progress made there on the short run. Time is on their side, and they're going to wind that play clock all the way down. Goes to the option. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Certain moments in the game you know are just a little bit bigger. Here's one of them. Big play coming on third and long. And there was nowhere to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. And that's a great job by the defense not letting that bird out of the cage. When you can run like this guy can, you got to keep the edge. Did a great job. He went backwards, retreated, gave up some ground. They didn't give up the outside, got the sack on the play. And the Black Knights decide to punt it away. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Not going to get a chance to field that one, and the punt will bounce out of bounds. Air Force has it back, and the Falcon offense returns to the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. Yeah, and just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. They immediately call timeout, trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. Looking to go up top on first down. Fires left. He just missed the target on that one. Got to put it on his body. We have reached the two-minute warning, and time is of the essence if this offense is going to make a play. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. Or did he find a hole in that secondary? And he gets out of bounds to stop the clock as the offense moves closer, trying to pull it out. So that big play changes the complexion of things. It's first and 10 just outside the 30. Starting to feel a little pressure. At the 20, he's got space. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. It's first down from the 11. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. Back to throw, it's Busha. And he can't get it off, taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. On third and long, he'll need to push it downfield. Dances away from the heat. And the pressure will get there. The sack, down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. The offense uses a timeout, 20 ticks remaining. Down four late, they have to convert on fourth down to keep hope alive. Let's it go to the end zone. Touchdown, Air Force. And inside a minute to go, they've got the lead. And some of these guys make it look so easy, but these are tight windows down here, man. There's not a lot of space in the field, and he drops back, knows exactly where he's going with the football, throws it in there, makes the play, and more importantly, now his team is in the lead in the fourth quarter. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. From inside his own 10, he'll try to help out their field position. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25, he's brought down at the 26. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. Finds his man, it's Williams. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Timeout on the field and four ticks left to go. He'll come out throwing on first down. He's taking a deep shot. Last pass falls incomplete, and that's going to do it. It's really easy to get caught up in the emotion of a rivalry game. We did, and certainly this was a huge win. 
Yeah, and you started, you circled it, you were ready for this team. This is this is the rivalry you put a lot of stock in all offseason. You're talking about this game in particular. You go out and get the dub. It's a relief because you definitely wanted this team. And it's bragging rights for everybody, for the coaching staff, for the fans, but how about for the players as well? For another 365 days, you can talk about how you went out, you dominated, and you beat your rival. A lot of these guys are going to go on to the NFL. They'll be in locker rooms next year. They'll be talking about this for a long time. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.